So I've been watching a lot of NBA recently, and I always thought to myself, I should be getting paid to watch these games. Sure, we all know that sports betting exists. There's tons of gambling apps that offer player props. But being real, betting comes with its own risks. You could lose all of your money, or even worse, end up with a crippling gambling addiction. Luckily, I already have one of those, so that's not an issue for me personally, but there must be a better way. What if I built an AI that gambles for me? Before we start though, um, I just want to take a moment to say that this video is strictly for educational purposes. You should always do your own research when doing these types of things. And please don't take advice from a random stranger on YouTube, please don't. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, firstly, what do we need to build an AI model? Well, we need data and we need lots of data so we're able to make accurate predictions. Um, I tried looking for a data set that already existed on Kaggle, but I found most of them to be outdated and um, they had a lot of unnecessary filler stats that I didn't really need. So my next option was to web scrape the NBA website. However, I quickly found that there was a better way to do this, way more efficient than web scraping as well. If you guys don't know, NBA API is a great resource for this. It can be found on GitHub and it has a pretty nice Python library that makes data retrieval extremely easy. I'll have the link to the repo on GitHub if you guys want to look over it. It's super well documented and it has plenty of endpoints to choose from. In my case, I'll just need every single box score stat for a player. I had some trouble deciding what endpoints to use, but uh, I ended up settling on player game log. I used pandas for this as it helped me format dates and pre-process the data prior to running it through a prediction model. I also took into account home court advantage as that can be a pretty influential factor in sports. We'll do a zero for an away game and one for a home game. Now that we have our data prepared, we can start training our model. For this project, I decided to use a logistic regression as our prediction model. Logistic regression is a popular choice for binary classification tasks like ours, where we want to predict whether an NBA player will score above or below a certain point threshold in a game. While you can choose any different type of machine learning algorithm, there's so many, uh, logistic regression worked the best for me because I plan to train the model on a sports books line. That way, I'll be able to use the AI I created to make bets for me and create my very own money printer. Oh no! <laughs> First, I split the data into training and testing sets using the train test split function from scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is a Python library that I'm using for this project um, and that's what I use to perform the logistic regression by the way. So this image is a super good representation of what's going on behind the scenes. So as you can see here, um, this is how the train test split function works. Uh, in my case, my target is predicting points. So I want the model to predict if it's gonna go over or under. And uh, for the features, that would be every other stat I collected. So things like home court advantage, assists, rebounds, turnovers, field goals made, all that stuff. So once our training data was all sorted out, I created an instance of the logistic regression model and I set the maximum number of iterations to a thousand just to prevent any issues. Then I fitted the model to our training data using the fit method. And uh, this process trains the model to learn the patterns and relationships in the data so it can make predictions on new and unseen data. I also tried really hard not to overfit this data as it can give me pretty bad results in that way. Now that all the coding stuff is done, we're finally ready to make our predictions. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use Jokic as an example, uh, but you can do this for any player really. So I've already gone ahead and collected all of the stats. All I need to do is fill this out. So uh, the current points line on our favorite platform uh, we'll go ahead and use prize picks and we'll do 28.5 because that's the line that he's at right now. And next we have to enter Nikola Jokic's stats for the last five games and it's asking if he has home court advantage. In this game that we're going to be predicting, he does have 
home court advantage. So let's go ahead and put a one for that. Next, we have to put average assists. So that's 7.2. His average steals for the last five games, he's averaged 0.8. His rebounds, he's averaged 14 rebounds. This guy's a beast. And then turnovers, 3.4. Average made three point field goals, that's 1.6. This is 3.8. This is 1.4. Field goal attempts, this is 19.2. This is 11.2. Average free throw attempts, we can do 7.4. Let's do 6.2 for this. And average plus minus is a 7.8. And after that, it will give you its prediction. So that's pretty cool. It's working pretty well. Um, let's see what this says if it has something really obvious, right? So let's say our line is 20.5. Let's say he has home court advantage and he's averaging uh, four assists. He's averaging zero steals. He's averaging about like seven rebounds. Turnovers, uh, zero. And then he's attempting three. Let's go ahead and do zero. Let's go ahead and, and do something like 10. And he's made five of those. Let's do uh, four, and he's made two of those, and we'll just do zero for this. So as you can see, based on these really bad stats, um, Jokic is predicted to go under 20.5 points today. So let's go ahead and repeat this process and give him an even smaller line, so something like 15.5. Let's give him home court advantage, and then let's do something like... Uh, 8 assists, uh, 0 0.5 steals, let's do 12 rebounds, Tone turnovers, let's do 1, 3 points made, let's do 1.2, let's do uh, 2.0, and then average blocks, let's just do 1, average field goal attempts, let's go ahead and do 20, and then for field points made, let's give them like 9, and then free throw attempts, let's go ahead and do 7, and then let's give them 6. Average plus minus, we'll give him two. And as you can see here, he went over. So there's so many ways you could play with this. It's super cool. And the great thing is that it's using actual stats to make the prediction, right? So that's what I really, really, really like. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. Also, if you guys are interested in using this model and many others, you can check out PropSniper.io. And yeah, make sure to check that out if you're interested. Peace.